Hey guys, hi, happy Tuesday. It is Training Tuesday again, comes every week. Isn't that incredible? I always look forward to it too. This is gonna be a little bit um, more short and sweet. I want to really talk tonight, um, today, about plant-based, well not even plant-based, protein. All right. Um, a lot. Of, a lot of people know a lot about protein. It is really a hot topic these days because there are so many people that are vegan or just doing plant based with some sort of variety of veganism or whatever. Um, but I just want to kind of give a little bit of a background of it and then some um, key points that I thought were interesting and worth um, having a conversation about. So, if you're not aware, protein is a macronutrient. And what does it do in our body? It builds muscle and it helps repair tissue. So um, when it is in our body, it breaks down into amino acids. And those are called the building blocks of protein. And 80% uh, of our muscle is built from these amino acids or contains the amino acids. So there are two different types of protein, or I'm sorry, not protein, but amino acids. There are non-essential and those are actually, our body creates those naturally. And then there are essential. So essential amino acids, um, you, you want complete, and there are 19 of those amino acids to be a complete form. Um, but sometimes uh, you have to... Um, you have to consume food or a supplement to get that full complete form, okay? So I'll explain why that's important later. But there are basically two different types of protein. You have animal sources and you have plant sources. So when we talk about animal sources, we've got whey and casein, those are dairy-based. You've got eggs, um, beef, chicken, those are complete proteins, so they contain all of the nine essential amino acids. There are nine essential amino acids. I think I said 19 earlier, I meant nine. So um, from an animal source, for people who are athletes or are aging or sedentary, that might be, they actually have done some clinical studies on it and say that that may be a better source, but you always, I mean, you, you wanna talk with your doctor or nutritionist or somebody to find out what's best for you. There's my disclaimer. Um, but then you have the plant sources and that links right back to, to Arvon's 30 Days to Clean and Healthy Eating because everything we have is botanically based or plant-based. So all of our nutrition is. So you've gotta make sure that you're getting um, all of the, the amino acids that you need. And, and remember there are nine essential ones that our body can't make so we have to consume those. And um, remember also the premise with Arbonne, for those 30 days, what we're trying to do is remove any, something that may be allergenic, something that is known to cause allergies or irritations or have an adverse effect, okay? So you've got soy. We know that there that can have some allergenic um responses or reactions. You have pea protein, brown rice protein, chickpeas, then hummus, um, and, but those are incomplete, meaning they are missing at least one of the nine essential amino acids necessary to be a complete amino or to be a complete protein source. So um, there is one exception and that's quinoa. So quinoa actually is a complete um, protein. So um, why does Arbon have pea protein? And if it says that that's incomplete, how do we know that we're getting the full complement of amino acids that we need? Well, I'm glad you asked. I'll answer that for you. <laughs> so in the Arbon pea protein uh, shakes, all right, we have got 19 amino acids that come in those shakes. You get 20 grams of vegan protein. Don't forget, it's gonna be vegan, it's gluten-free, it's um, non-GMO, no artificial sweeteners, chemicals, nothing artificial in there, okay? Um, but Arbon does provide all nine essential amino acids, also 24 additional vitamins and minerals. So. What they've done, it is not just pea protein. It is pea protein, brown rice protein, which actually is hypoallergenic, 
And um, I did read something about this, okay? So I'm, I'm not making claims, but they have found that it can speed up weight loss a little bit, that it has a thermetic, I always thought it was thermogenic, but thermetic effect. So that's with brown rice. Um, and again, hy hypoallergenic, meaning it's not known to cause allergic reactions. And then we also have cranberry in there. So think about what Arvon does. Again, it mixes science and nature, plant-based, um, nutritious foods, nutrients, and it combines it all to give us exactly what we need. So by combining all of those things, the pea protein, the brown rice protein, and the cranberries, plus the 24 essential vitamins and minerals, you're getting your complete chain of amino acids. Um, so that's your complete protein. And that way you're not worrying about having to supplement it because it's already been taken care of in that protein for our protein shakes. So it, it's just, it's interesting to me because so many people, um, they want to go vegan, um, but they don't really know how to do it the best way. And I'm not, I'm not vegan and I'm not recommending that people go vegan, but what I am suggesting is that if you want to really clean your body, get a good clean slate, you can be confident in knowing that we don't have soy in ours. We don't have whey. That's dairy. Dairy can, people can have intolerances to dairy. That's why Arbonne eliminates all of those potential allergens so that we can get a really clean, um, healthy system, healthy gut, so that it, again, our body is going to function the way that it's supposed to in the most healthy manner that it can. So, um, I just want you to be really Number one, pat yourself on the back if you're already using and, and drinking our, our shakes because they're good. They're really good tasting too. And you can add all kinds of things to it. Um, there was one other thing I wanted to say. Oh, the lower glycemic index. That's really important too because we don't want spikes in our blood sugar. Okay, so that's part of that 30 days. Now, if you have our protein shake and you add water, it's not gonna create a spike in your blood sugar. So um, that is really good to know. And, and as I've shared before, we have a lot of customers and clients that are using the 30-day nutrition. And um, whether it's for that 30 days or whether it's you know been a year down the road, but it's helping with their diabetes. And, and it's not, you know, again, not a claim, but I can tell you that people have told me that they see improvements in that area. So everybody's gonna be different, but when you use these products and um, consume these products, you can do it with confidence. Okay, you know that the the thought, the science, the nature has all gone into that. Again, our 30 days to clean and healthy eating went through Mayo Clinic. And that's that's something to be very proud of and to be confident in. So when you're consuming these, feel really good about it because you're doing a great thing for your body and for your health. Um, and then uh, I think that was that was really what I wanted to cover today. I just kind of wanted to talk about a little bit about the differences in protein and um, what proteins might be better than others when you're even just looking at plant-based proteins. So um, if you have any questions or you have any comments, please feel free to leave those in there. I really love to know if you guys are enjoying these, if it's um, educational for you, if you have other opinions. Um, I'm always open to that. So I hope you have a great day. Thanks for listening and I'll see you next week.